New shooter coverage of IBC 2023 is sponsored by Atlas Lens Co., Atomos, Sennheiser, and B&H. It's Matt here for NewShooter.com at IBC 2023. I'm at the Intercore booth. Now this is a quite a clever um, little device that does things unlike pretty much anything else on the market. Just run me through exactly what it is. Yeah, so this is uh, the new version of Screenport. It is basically an SDI input for Apple devices. So that could be an iPhone, iPad, a Mac, actually even an Apple TV over the network. It, is, it, it takes uh, SDI as its input and it can output over three different ways. So either you can use uh, a USB-C cable to your Apple device, you could use uh, an Ethernet cable and, and uh, go to your router or access point, or you could use the built-in uh, antennas for, uh, for Wi-Fi. You could connect to an existing network or just make your own uh, with a, yeah, the built-in access point mode. Um, yeah. And the clever thing, I, I guess, behind all of this too is that it, its ability to, to stream and it's also able to record internally um, in obviously a, like H.264 lower res version with all the metadata from the camera attached. Yeah, exactly. It can record into, uh, so the app that comes with it, it's, it's a free app. It can record into H.264 or HEVC uh, with uh, various bitrate options and yeah, and you can stream uh, up to nine other devices. So it's very flexible and all of those devices could record at the same time if you so choose. What would be the user case for this system? So there are multiple use cases that we've seen out there. Uh, there are people using it as a splinter unit for a film production. So let's say they have a main unit shooting with a large QTEC system and then they need a couple of shots in the middle of the forest where it would be a lot of trouble to bring the whole rig. So they just bring a tiny uh, phone and a screen port and the camera and they can record and then can actually sync with the main unit uh, to show the director, right? And then there are smaller uh, uh, use cases, such as like a script supervisor might, might uh, use this to, to capture her own uh, you know, uh, uh, stills and, and, and uh, actually videos from the, you know, from the production. And we've had use cases from other areas, such as like, like football stadiums will use this to, to capture the video from, from the you know, like internal like the cameras in, on, on, the, on the stadium. And then there are like, then there are even use cases within like medical ap applications, like uh, uh, X-rays, and anywhere you have SDI as a source of video, and you want to display that on an Apple device, whatever it may be. All of these Apple devices, they have amazing screens. That was quite, kind of the original impetus for like building this product. It's like we we saw those screens and we we thought like. Isn't it a shame that you, can, you cannot use that as, a, as an SDI monitor, right? So now you and, and, and speaking of that, this, this can work as, an, as a monitor from the camera with you know, full functionality like focus peaking, oh, yeah. false color, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, we have all of those functions. We have uh, focus peaking, histograms, waveforms, vector scopes, uh, false color. It's, it's, it's very versatile and all of this functionality comes free with the app. And yeah, you can just turn it on and, and use it for various uh, use cases like that. And in terms of pricing, how much does it cost? Uh, so this model uh, is, the, is the one, the aluminium one, uh, it, it, it is 1,550 euros. Uh, it comes with a Limo connector for power uh, from the camera and, and USB-C. And then we have another model, it's, 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 uh, the color is orange, it, it's made of plastic and it has a battery connector instead of the Limo. And that one is slightly cheaper. It, it's, it costs, uh, I think, like 1,270, if I'm, yeah, probably like, uh, going off memory. Uh, and if people want to find out more information about these products, is there a website they can go to? Yeah, just go to screenport.io. Uh, it's a very simple URL, screenport.io.